Welcome back to the show, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. I'm in a good mood. It's out of the single digits, out of the teens here in Pennsylvania. It's one of those days where the testicles do not have to recede up into your abdomen to find a place to stay warm. Let's head out and wash some cars. Two products that I haven't touched from the Hybrid Solutions from Turtle Wax, their, their new round of products, the Brake um, and Wheel Cleaner, and also the Car Wash, the Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Slick and Slide Pure Wash. We're going to uh, break that out today. I'm going to share my experience with you. It is 64 ounces for under $20. Let's give it a shot. And we'll clean this dirty vehicle. Salt up the sides, inner fender well, on the paint. What we're going to do is add two ounces into the foam lance. So this is one of those shampoos that isn't just a shampoo and you experiment in your foam lance or during the clay process. This is formulated uh, to go into the foam lance, into a wash bucket for your contact wash. And also you can use your clay mitt with the shampoo extra um, lubrication in there to cut back on swirling uh, should provide uh, a ton of suds from what I've been hearing and let's see if the surfactants are strong enough to clean this dirty truck when it does come to the cold weather my friends it seems every year I can tolerate it less and less let me know down in the comment section if you dread winter time it just seems like there's Extra effort has to go into everything. You're dragging hoses inside now. More work. Uh, it, it's just something I, I dread more and more every year. Uh, let's hear down in the comments section also, is there any Canadian uh, mobile detailers? God bless you if there is, and let us know you exist down in the comments section. Right off the bat, you will be happy if you're a fan of the thick, clingy, shaving cream uh, type foam that the product gives you out of a foam cannon. It, uh, it clings, it just doesn't move. And about four or five minutes will go by, you'll see some small areas trying to dry up a little bit. Other than that, the foam just clings and, and hopefully it's emulsifying, lifting that grit so you can rinse it freely from the panels. I'm quite eager to see if this breaks into the top five for me. My top shampoos, the Apex Auto Wash from Phoenix, uh, GSF from Kalkemi, the Auto Foam from Built Hamber, Gion Restart, Car Pro Reset. Some of my top washes. Let me know some of your top shampoos. And if you have used this one, does this break into your top five? Okay, I can get away with about five, six minutes today. It's a little breezy. The sun is out before some areas start to dry. Once you hit it with the water and rinse it, and it does rinse freely uh, rather easily, it will reactivate it so you can rinse um, each panel thoroughly. Some of those with tons of experience out in the elements detailing, give us some of your best tips to keep warm. Uh, when it comes to shoes, I like the hiking shoes. I kind of wear them all year round anyway because of uh, the strength of the shoe itself and the comfort. They are also waterproof and they do keep uh, my feet warm. The waterproof gloves that are also insulated. Give us some of your tips. All right, another area that you can use the shampoo is in the claying process. I have the clay mitt out, and we did foam down the area one more time, and I'm going to hit the lower uh, portions of the panels 
with the clay mitt, there does feel like there's a ton of lubrication. And as you can see, it, it's not going anywhere. It sticks to the side of the vehicle, so you don't have to keep reapplying shampoo. It's not runny at all. So some good signs so far. And finally, we can get to the contact wash. And it, whatever method you use, the multi-bucket, the one-bucket multi-mitt, the one-mitt no-bucket, which is what I'm going to show you here, just spraying the panels one panel at a time, two panels at a time with the foam, and taking your mitt um, and going over the panels. Rinse thoroughly, move on. I'm anxious to incorporate it into my wash process. That's the one bucket multi-mitt. As you can see, it's not going in in thick ribbons that you have to agitate and get the shampoo mixed up into the water. It automatically uh, dilutes itself into the water. And you'll see, we'll drag the bucket outside and it doesn't take much agitation at all to bring up some nice thick suds. Another thing to share, the wash mitt does seem to easily glide across each panel. And you can almost go around the whole vehicle without re-dunking uh, your mitt. Not advisable, but I'm just uh, sharing that there just seems to be a ton of shampoo in the mitt. And it, there's no reason to go back and dunk it into the bucket for more lubrication or more shampoo. It just seems to keep coming out of the mitt. So far, the experience has been a positive one. Now, what I need to do to see if it breaks into my top five is when it's sunny, extremely hot and humid, how the shampoo deals with water spots, and that will determine where I finally rank it. But I know some of you that live in warmer climates have already picked this up and have been using it. Share with us down in the comments section how it uh, performs for you. Do you enjoy it or have you moved on? Okay, let's dry it off. Let's walk around and take a look. Are the surfactants strong enough? Have they removed all of the contaminants and whatever Mother Nature has thrown up at this vehicle? So yeah, it may have some unnecessary dye or scent, uh, but some of you enjoy that. It did nothing to kick back the gloss on this vehicle. Looks fantastic, squeaky clean, and I would have no problem uh, using it again. Listen, it is a shampoo though, guys. If you have something you're enjoying, just wait till you run out and maybe try something new. There's no need to go out and, and just build up your uh, stock of shampoos, car shampoos, unless you go through a ton of it. But just wait till you want to try something new or you run out and maybe give this a try.
This has been Brian from Apex Detail and the shop manager who found the one snowbank left to lay in. We appreciate you stopping by. We really do love spending time with you guys a couple days out of the week. And we look forward to bringing you the next video.